Hey there, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Thanks for joining me. I'm here for Vintage King, and today we're going to take a look at the Maris 440 microphone preamp for 500 series. Got one mounted back in my 500 series rack back here. You saw me use it to record that track at the beginning of the video. So the guys at Maris set out to make a uh, extremely uh, guitar-centric recording mic pre. It's got a bunch of great features for guitar players. And uh, they wanted to make, you know, kind of the ultimate guitar recording mic preamp. Uh, but I should stress that it's a great sounding pre for recording anything. I'm speaking through it right now with this Mojave MA200 microphone. And uh, it just sounds terrific for whatever the source is that you're recording through it. Um, tried to demonstrate, though, in that track at the beginning of the video, something that's, I think, really, really cool about this pre and extremely unique. And that's that it has a pedal level effect loop built in. So whatever your mic signal is, you can now affect it with all of your guitar pedals. And that to me is just extremely cool for recording just about anything, not just guitar. I mean, you could use it on vocals. For instance, I've got this Mulan Pete Thorne Aquarius Delay hooked up here. It's got me engraved on it. So just by going like this, I got delay in my voice. Hey, 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 hey. Howdy, 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 howdy. So that's obviously a lot of fun. Um, you know, whatever you can dream up, uh, uh, you know, you want to run your dulcimer through your uh, fuzz pedal, you can easily do that now. Perhaps you desire the sound of a flanger on your vocal. Or possibly, maybe you'd like to integrate your favorite fuzz pedal into your vocal chain. So obviously all of that and much more is now a possibility with the Maris 440. You know, whatever you can stick a microphone in front of and record, you can now use with your guitar pedals. So it's uh, really sky's the limit kind of thing. Just get creative and have fun. I just think it's an exciting product. So uh, what else? What else? It's got a phase switch, a uh, built-in 20 dB pad. It's got uh, some high and low shelving filters at extremely guitar-centric frequencies. So that's really nice for the recording guitarist. And it just sounds great. Okay, so I want to show you what a couple of those tracks I recorded uh, on that song at the beginning of the video sound like soloed outside of a mix so you can really hear what the pedals were doing to the mic signal. Here we go. <laughs> So I wanted to show you a really cool application for the Maris Pre, uh, especially for recording guitars. I've got my uh, Vox AC15 amp hooked up here to an extension cabinet out in my live room. I'm miking up a uh, uh, Celestian Alnico Blue Speaker with a Shure SM57 mic. So the 57's running into the Maris Pre, and I'm driving the Pre up a bit. It sounds really great. Got a good sort of uh, core, uh, crunchy guitar tone going here. It sounds like like this. <laughs> Okay, love that tone, sounds great. But now what happens if I wanna add a bit of ambience to that using some time-based effect pedals like reverb, delay? Well, because the AC15 is a vintage style amp, there's no effects loop in it or anything like that. Traditionally, your only option would be to patch those pedals in, in front of the amp. So I've got a Strymon Flint reverb and a Strymon L Capstan delay hooked up here. So I'm turning those on, they're patched into the front of the amp and here's what they sound like. <laughs> Okay, obviously kind of chaotic sounding, you know, they, um, they just take over the sound really and that's because time-based pedals really want to come after a distorted signal, they don't want to be in front of a, a dirty guitar amp. So using the, uh, the Maris Pre's effects loop, I can easily patch these pedals in now, post my distorted amp signal and uh, you'll get a result like this. <laughs> Okay, so you can hear how the reverb and the delay aren't overtaking my core dry guitar sound. Um, they just sit in the mix beautifully, they're all controlled, because they're living where they want to live after the distorted signal. Uh, so that's just a really, really powerful application for the Maris Pre. It opens up a whole world of possibilities, because now you can use your vintage uh, style amps that don't have effects loops and easily integrate them with your time-based effect pedals that want to come post-distortion. 
All right, thanks for watching my video on the Maris 440 Mic Pre for 500 series. Uh, if you got any questions on the Pre, give the guys at Vintage King a call and uh, they'll help you out. Uh, it's a lot of fun and uh, I look forward to using it more in the future on my own projects. All right, take care and I'll see you soon for more videos. I am Pete Thorne.